The intellectual dark web, the term was coined by IDW member Eric Weinstein, refers to a loosely bound worldwide internet community of well over a hundred major thinkers and hundreds of millions of views who do not find any present day intellectual trends to be that inviting. They don't like the far right, but they don't like the far left either. They're looking for much more unified and inclusive ways of thinking. Integral theory, or technically integral meta theory, seems to be applicable here because it's basically an attempt to draw together as many different approaches to truth as we possibly can and integrate them in a unified framework. Integral sometimes refers to all these different truths as ones that include waking up, growing up, cleaning up, opening up, and showing up. Do any of those sound interesting? I hope so. I certainly find them fascinating. And we'll talk a little more about them in a moment. But for right now, what David Fuller was referring to with the notion of an integral consciousness is an awareness that includes all of those truths. And it certainly involves the truth known as growing up. Growing up simply refers to the whole process of growth and development that all human beings go through as they mature and, well, grow up. As David Fuller puts it, as with other developmental theorists, like Jordan Peterson's favorite, Jean Piaget, he, Wilbur, see society and culture as being similar to the developmental stages that individuals go through as they mature. And that's basically right. As I was searching for frameworks that seem to have some sort of genuine truth, I was struck by the many developmental models in existence. There were dozens and dozens of them. In fact, in a book called Integral Psychology, I analyzed over 100 different developmental models. And I included in that book charts of all 100 of them. What I was so struck by was the fact that wherever these models were from, east or west, north or south, there was a very broad, very general agreement as to the major stages that human beings went through. Now, this is clearly a very complex topic, so I want to make some extremely generalized statements here, but just enough to get the major points across. And at some other time, we can certainly argue the details. But the basic idea is that, indeed, all human beings grow and develop through some very general stages or waves or levels of development. And in the cultures where this has been tested, some of these 100 models have been checked in over 40 different cultures. It does indeed appear that the stages that humans develop through are essentially similar in very broad ways wherever they appear. The surface features vary enormously from culture to culture and even from individual to individual. But some of the very deepest features do seem quite common. And each of these stages has the same central characteristic. Namely, each stage gets more and more inclusive, more unified, more whole. This is like any broad developmental or evolutionary sequence, whether it's going from atoms to molecules to cells to organisms or from letters to words to sentences to paragraphs, each higher stage is more inclusive. It transcends and includes its predecessor. So molecules go beyond atoms. They transcend them. But molecules also include atoms. They actually enfold and enwrap them. And likewise, cells go beyond or transcend molecules but they also include them and enfold them. And organisms transcend, but include cells, and so on. In each case, 
the whole of one stage becomes a part of the whole of the next stage. Author Kessler actually coined the term holon to refer to this. A holon is a hole that's part of other holes. If you think about it, most of the things in the universe are holons. But it's certainly true that in human beings, virtually all of our developmental sequences are made of holons. The whole of one stage becomes a part of the whole of the next stage. And this is why they become more and more inclusive. Now, as it turns out, as we look at all of these 100 or so models, we start to notice a specific feature at the very highest stages that any of these models have discovered so far. The stages start to become so whole, so unified, so inclusive, that they really take a major leap beyond normal. They begin to look like a really significant break in typical development so far. In fact, many of these developmental researchers actually call these higher stages by terms like integrated, or integral, or systemic, or holistic, in the best sense of that word. Individuals who are operating from these integral stages of development really do start to see the world in dramatically different ways much more inclusive and comprehensive, much less reductionistic, and much less partial or fragmented or broken. It's a very different way of looking at the world altogether. And it's this integral consciousness that David Fuller sees as primarily driving the intellectual dark web. And I must say, I generally agree with that. This certainly helps to explain the incredibly wide-reaching and comprehensive nature of these IDW conversations. And it also gives some explanation as to why these conversations have started to emerge just now. Because among many other reasons, including the existence of the internet, research shows that an integral stage of consciousness itself is a relatively recent emergent. It's just never really existed to this degree at any time before in history. Previously, in relatively rare, advanced individuals, yes, we find it there. But extending to any significant degree, no, that's new.